G'day, it's Rob here again. Well, I've set up the power drilling spindle that I reviewed a couple of videos back. Completed my uh, little project. And it, it's actually turned out quite well. It's not perfect, I've still got to do some more modifications to it. But overall, yeah, it's pretty simple. And you can see what I've done. It's uh, It's just a mount that goes on the on the top slide. The U-shaped steel. We've got a pull down a spacer. There's our power drill assembly. It fits in okay. I put a, a spacer between the pulley and the bearing because without that, this can work its way out. I found with no load on it, it can actually start to travel. So I just put a 10 mil centered spacer in there and that stopped all that. The motor is just mounted on a flat bracket that's welded on with some slots in it. And you can move the motor in or out to tighten your belt. Two screws to hold the motor onto this right, right angle bracket. And it's running off of a 19 volt printer power pack, scrap printer power pack. Now this one's actually good for about four amps, but most of them only, you know, they're, they're good for at least an amp. So as this thing takes less than half an amp, hunt around, dig up, dig, dig up an old power pack, and that'll probably give you all you need for, for light drilling. Now I don't see this as being a a heavy duty unit, it's only for model making. You're not going to be putting half inch size drills through metal with this. This little motor is nowhere near big enough. So we'll try it and we'll see just what it can drill. We'll try it in steel, you know. If you can drill in steel, well, aluminium and brass should be a piece of cake. So let's get on with it and see what it can do. This is machine grade steel. This is a three mil high speed steel drill. This is the standard gearing. And I'm running the motor off of a 19 volt scrap printer pack. So it's not running at the full 30 odd volts. It's just running at the 19 volt speed. And that is less than a bit under 3000 RPM, I'll speed test it later. You can see how the motor performs. This is 3 mil. No problem, it does it easy. So we go to a, a bigger drill and see what happens. Now we've switched to a 4.3 mil drill. Now, as the drills get bigger diameter, of course, they get longer. And this is where I've got to do a modification on this later to move the, the, the mounting block back further. Bring it back level with the end and cut away some of the bracket here so that the chuck will clear. That way you can use longer drills. But at the moment, I'm restricted to using stubby drills. So yeah, I'll rework this. And But at, at the moment, I'm just trying out to see how it goes for power. Uh, is it worth, you know, modifying it or trying to use it for big drills? So yeah, we'll try it on this. 4.3, give it a go. Open the hole out. Now we get to the end, and we're, now we're into solid steel. That's pretty impressive. And as I said, we're doing this with 19 volts. 
So yeah, it, it handled that no problem at all. I'll try and go big L, dig out some more short drills and see if we can go up in size again. But so far, it's doing everything I want for model making. This will be perfect. I'm working in 3mm for the Allen header bolts on model making, so this will easily, easily do that into steel. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty impressive on what it is, you know. But as I said, at 19 volts, the speed is pretty well perfect. Right, so now we're going to go to a 6.3mm drill. Now I think this will pretty much test it out. I'm just going through my old stubby drills, but broken ones, they're all sharp, they're good and sharp. So, yeah, this, this will test it out. So we'll go through what we've already pre-drilled and then we'll get into solid steel. Just see what the little motor's capable of doing. Okay, let's do it. That's about it. That's right on the limit. So I'd say five mil maximum, six mils too much for trying to drill through on its own. That was into solid steel. As far as opening up holes, if you progressively step through, yeah, it'll do it no problem. You know, you can. I mean, that six mil went through fine after the previous drill. But when you try and drill through solid steel without having pre-drilled it. No, 5mm would be it, I think. But once again, as I said, yeah, drill it with a smaller drill and just follow, just step your way through. And you could go up to 6mm with this, no problem at all, but I certainly think that is about the limit. Just trying to do a speed test, I've got a bit of reflective tape on here. 3077. That's about what I expected. Yep, that's pretty well ideal for drilling. So that's a good speed, 19 volts. You wouldn't, wouldn't want to go any faster, that's just perfect. Well, there you have it. It actually, it's not bad. I'm surprised how powerful the little motor is. And as I said, up to, up to 5 mil drilling through solid steel, yep. It, have, it should do that okay with a good sharp drill but I mean you can go bigger than that if you just step your way through the drills you know you could go up to you could go six mil easy you could probably go maybe seven or eight you know if you pre-drill so that the, the motor's not being expected to cut a, a hole into solid steel and you'd normally do that if you're drilling anyway you know you'd normally work your way up now one thing's wrong with the setup and I need to fix it, and that is that the bearing block here I mounted it there so that the chuck would clear the bracket. But of course the problem then is that when you've got it in position you can only use short drills because of your centre line. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out the spacer, move the block so it comes up close to the pulley, so this, this bearing housing will be here, and I'm going to take the shaft with it. So the whole thing is just going to move back. What's going to happen is 
this whole unit is going to move back this way, the pulley's going to finish up right up against the back of the bearing housing, and this block will be mounted here. Now, to, to provide clearance on the, on the chuck, I'm going to just cut away half of this vertical piece here, so the chuck will basically sit back here somewhere, and this will here, so this will be a dog leg basically, it will come, come down and can go across. And that will give you a chuck clearance, and that will give you an extra whatever, 10, 20 mil probably, of drill length. It'll be enough anyway, I think, to do the job. So that's something to watch out for if you do make one of these up. But overall, it's a pretty simple, it's a pretty, pretty simple design, and the motor didn't throw a belt or do anything untoward. It never got even slightly warm. Even with the vent holes blocked up on the front, there's no heat build up whatsoever because that's only 19 volts. This thing's rated for over 30 volts. And as I said, I've actually had that up to 50 volts. But the thing is, of course, the more volts means more speed. For drilling, you don't want that. You want to keep your speed down. So I think 19, 20 volts is pretty much ideal. You can run it on 12 volts, but of course, it's going to lose power. So, yep, you can get a 19 volt printer pack. Any, any old power pack. It won't cost you a bean, and uh, away you go. Or you can you can buy a proper dedicated power supply if you want. It. Anyway, that's it, guys. That's my latest bit of handiwork, and I'll I'll carry on with it. And uh, as I said, just modify this. This shouldn't be terribly difficult. It's just a cut and shift situation. The belt height, everything everything will stay the same, and yeah, no problem. Now, if you do make up one of these using this particular plan design. Of course it's critical you get your centre line right. Well the easy way to do that is just stick a dead centre in your chuck or your collet, put some put some uh, texture pen, marker pen on your piece of steel that you're going to mount the the bearing housing on, bring it up and just drag it across, just drag it across the dead centre and that will just scribe a line dead on your centre line. Then all you've got to do is just measure measure out for your bolt positions, which are dead accurate. So you've just got to work out from your centre line, and yeah, easy. From there on, just set it up and away you go. Okay, that's it from me. I hope you enjoyed it. Yeah, to be continued. See you next time. Cheers.